Starting next year, all incoming freshmen will be required to live in residence halls. ECU officials have been working on this decision for years and plan to have freshmen stay in the dorms unless they meet the exceptions. Associate Vice Chancellor of Campus Living and Dining Services William McCartney believes that this was the best idea for students starting out at ECU. Students who live on campus get higher grade point averages, they're more likely to graduate in four years, they're more likely to graduate at all. ECU and other universities have had tuition increases, but McCartney says that the schools should not suffer from these increases. We're not putting ourselves in a competitive disadvantage where suddenly someone is going to say, oh, I'm going to go to Appalachian State now because that's significantly cheaper than ECU. According to McCartney, living on campus will help students maintain retention at the university. And in the 2009-2010 school year, students who lived on campus had a 5% higher chance of returning to campus their sophomore year. The only way for someone to qualify for living off campus is if they are over the age of 21, married, have a child, live within 35 miles of the school, or have served in the military. Most students, like senior English major Catherine Little, agree that this idea will be good for students to get to know other freshmen who are moving away from home for the first time. I think that it's really good as far as encouraging students to get involved with the community life that ECU does offer. ECU will house over 4,000 freshmen next year and McCartney says that they have plenty of room for students. We expect no problem next year actually. The freshman class size projections are 4,000. Um, of that, we don't expect to house all 4,000. The cost of living on campus will not be cheaper. In fact, the cost has gone up $50 per semester. Our meal plan costs won't be going up at all next year. We are limiting and eliminating some of our meal plans, but the ones that we're keeping will be the exact same cost next year. Campus Living has more plans for students in the future, including tearing down Belk Residence Hall and adding two new buildings and a swimming pool. I'm Jennifer Soares reporting for The Source.